are all working to be role models in their community. New at 10, KTV's Amber Lee is here. And Amber, I love how these are young men from a neighborhood where they say gun violence is a part of life, but they're trying to do something different. That's right, Jana. These young men tell me they want to get out of that cycle of violence and that being part of this event is making a difference. They say putting on a suit and looking professional is empowering and that gives them. We just did this the other day with the sisters, right? Yeah, we did it with the girls. You should. Yeah. This shit, man. Fuck, man. I want to I wanna hear from As they pimp, strive pimp to in the front row. Yeah, man. God damn. <laughs> pimp Sugarfoot, man. <laughs> their goals. The young man's smile is bright. His stride confident. His moves. That stride wasn't confident, man. Come on, man. That wasn't no confident stride. The man's smile is bright. His stride confident. Dude, this shit's embarrassing. <laughs> 15 at risk young men ages 18 to 24. At risk. Five from San Francisco's Bayview neighborhood are walking the runway at Macy's Union Square as part Oh my God, these walks are, <laughs> they're walking like white people, man. You walking like, like a Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, they're like white people walk, man. Yeah, man, <laughs> no kind of soul, nothing, man. He, he looked like that Bigfoot video from California yeah. way back in the day. Oh, this is the same place. This is this looks like the same place that the sisters was. The little young teen sisters was. It's like the same exact place the runway at Macy's Union Square as part of Suit Up, an initiative aimed at breaking the cycle of violence. Romano has many interests. Romano Scott tells me he's lost many friends and family members to gun violence. But to be honest, I didn't even... Yo, y'all walk, get it together. Just walk normal, man. You got a suit on. It's like putting a suit on a goddamn baboon or some shit. <laughs> uh, I want to see you go down the runway. <laughs> I'm going to walk just like I always walk, man. Fuck, man, I only know one way to walk. With a shit. pizza yeah. box in your hand? Yeah, man. Like this is the first time wearing a suit or some shit. Yeah, he's got a, this is fucking annoying, man. Has many interests. Romano Scott tells me he's lost many friends and family members to gun violence. But to be honest, I didn't. And not one to a fucking glider. Not one. And a nigga never gave him a suit. <laughs> but to be honest, I didn't even think that I was going to make it to my 20th birthday growing up uh, where I came from. I was tired of saying, You ain't think you going to make it to your 20th birthday. Hey, uh, uh, how, how old are these dudes? These dudes are fucking 25 years old doing a suit walk. Uh, he might be the next black first black president, man. Oh, yeah, he's going to be president, man. Yeah, he's going to shoot the other guy from Syracuse and be the first <laughs> black president. Yeah, man. Shit, man. That's the only way, man. Oh, where I came from. I was tired of seeing violence. I was tired of seeing murders, the same thing, you know, drug dealers. Just tired of it. And I feel like we could be doing much more with our time. Got some space. Each young man received a custom. Okay, got, oh, the tag is the tailor. Okay. That's, that's a grown ass man. What the fuck? This ain't no at risk of you. Man, I'm a teenager, man. Oh, what the fuck? No, that motherfucker's 25 years old. Hey, man. Look, man, according to, you know, we don't grow up till we fucking 40. So anyway, so it is what it is. Yeah, I'm a doing much yeah. more with our time. Yeah, yeah. I listen, man, I, listen, man, I ain't even alive, man. I ain't fucking grow up till I was probably 30, what's it mean? 37, 38. Very, still very juvenile in many ways till I was about 37, 38, man. It's just how we is, man. That's how sons are, man. Got some space, but Each young man received a custom outfit, a suit with accessories. Something that has a little bit of attitude. Styled with the help of professionals and a $600 gift card from Macy's. So many times have our young, you know, African American men been judged. Robert Newt, a super. Been judged by who? The fucking guy from the rival neighborhood that's going to shoot you? Yeah. yeah. This, this dude slapped a lot of women in his day. <laughs> yeah, man. God, we've been judged because I had to smack a hoe every now and again. It's just, it's just fucking. They can't just, they can't do anything without fucking trying to manipulate gliders and find them, try to fucking goddamn fucking extort gliders. They're already giving you fucking suits. You still a you be judge, man. Child with the help of professionals and a six hundred dollar gift yeah, card. Now I want you to be noticed who's 
the people who are giving them the fucking suits. I want you to make sure you fucking take take notice of who's giving them the fucking suits. Okay? Ain't no fucking sun words giving them no fucking suits. Some word ain't gonna give you shit. Some word ain't gonna fucking buy you a fucking happy meal. He's gonna give you some bullets. We'll give you some bullets. Yeah, that's about it, man. You know, African American men been judged. Robert Newt, a supervisor with the nonprofit Street Violence Intervention Program, came up with the idea for Suit Up. What really actually prompted me to do this was um, when Union Square suffered that tragic uh, shoplifting, whatever they was going through, um, I didn't want my young men to be stigmatized like that. This runway show is a partnership between so business, gave it to law enforcement, instead. and community. Suit Up is part of a comprehensive program that includes the young men cleaning up their neighborhood and learning life skills. Change. They lacking like shit out here cleaning up this shit. <laughs> yeah, that shit lasted about 30 minutes, if that. Yo, and and that shit. Yeah, they, they, ain't, they ain't nobody doing that on a regular basis. Hell no, man. You loafing. You out here just on front street, just straight lacking. Learning life skills. Change the narrative on how people think of them, how people talk to them, and how people look at them. Union Square belongs to these young men. They are San Francisco natives. They've accomplished a, a, a feat going through a very intensive program to build their self-esteem. <laughs> Jamon Butler. Walking like that. Tells me he served time in San Quentin for assault. <laughs> Boy, this ain't, no, this ain't kids, man. What the fuck? Yeah, they're like a grown ass man. Right? He's a grown ass dude. He served time in San Quentin. This dude's hard as fuck. I've been in titties, though. <laughs> this is such bullshit, bro. Yeah, man. What's up with the fro with the dreads hanging out the back, man? That's a new one, man. I hope that don't catch on, man. Shit, that looks weird, man. It just looks fucking. It's like weird. a, it's like a black mullet. That's, that's the thing, like yeah, a frullet. People that used to grow dreads and shit. They they cut like the top off and shit. They leave like a little ponytail in the back and shit. They be doing oh, that. God, you they really? Yeah, they do that shit out here. Don't do that, man. You got dreads, right? Yeah, I ain't never do no stupid man, shit. Man, if you do that, I'm bad you from the fucking studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see you doing that. You can pull this one off, I. Right? Hell no, nah, dude, man. I, I'm, I'm fucking. I got Patrick Ewan hairstyle, man. I ain't fucking. I ain't fucking doing this sunburn shit. What are you talking about, man? He said Patrick. <laughs> you fucking apes, man. I'm trying to look like. I'm trying to look like a regular nigga, man. I wait on you to get on here one day and you look like Sammy Sosa. Nah, man. It's now a life coach to children in his neighborhood. I'm a change, man. You know. I'm looking forward to you know learning more things and keep it, uh, keeping a straight track. That's a life coach. Yes, wow. The, that's a life. He, that that dude look like a young kid though. He look like a young kid though. Yeah, he he, he did time in San Quentin though, so he probably in his mid twenties, man. If he did time, all these guys probably did time though. Neighborhood. I'm a change man. You know, I'm looking forward to you know learning more things. And, Keep it, uh, keeping a straight track. I just want people to see that we're just like anybody else, you know, that we're human. You know, yeah, we make mistakes, but we're learning from it. Newt tells me these 15 young men are only the start. He plans to bring on many more. They are the future of the community. You the see idea all the fighters, is to have all the fighters up and death. an annual yeah. event. Wow, that is so great. They look so terrific. And just the, the messages that they had were so inspiring. And they told me they feel really good. And they would all fucking sucker punch you and fucking take your fucking purse, you goddamn dumbass. Tiger. Right. Yo, why, why is that Tiger <laughs> lying, too? I know I know. she lying. Yeah, she lying like shit. Like, this is and so it, embarrassing, just how low the bar is for these sun men. You know, yeah, I mean, like these are men up. and they're getting treated like children. Like this is like what you do with little girls when they're fucking five years old. It's such a useless idea, it's such a useless thing they're doing. Five five minutes after they're done with this, you're gonna forget all about it. And then when you see the the brain that this idea came from, it makes sense. Like that guy would come up with some stupid <laughs> shit like Said, yeah, man, I got an idea. How about we all get free suits and then we just walk around and stun on these motherfuckers? 
I'm saying, saying did, they say, did they say anything about like jobs or like getting jobs and trying to put them in like a position with these suits and shit? Zero skills. <laughs> Just put on this flashy suit. We're gonna have all these <laughs> white people and these tigers take your picture, and then you can go home and get they some booty look, head. They get to keep. The suits, <laughs> they get to keep the suits. They get to keep the suits though. Yeah, man. I hope so. I hope they get to keep the suit, man. But yeah, yeah your it's booty head suit. <laughs> To the tooth and accessories, they get to keep them. Yeah, the cufflinks and all that shit, man. It's, yeah, man. Salute to the. I mean, listen, man. This guy is. Yeah, he is a fucking moron. But, but at the end of the day, <laughs> he is, man. You hear him talking about. But he, he's getting what he wants, so he's really not though. They judging us. No, he no, he's very smart. Well, listen, it's not. Let me just tell you this, man. Um, gliders, all you gliders, just just pull up. Uh, every glider, just just listen this very closely. How to love. It doesn't, you don't have to be very smart to fucking extort and manipulate and fucking browbeat gliders, man. You don't have to be that smart, man. Once you realize, if you're a son, you realize very early, like, oh, shit, gliders, man, they sweet. They a soft target, okay? Why you think, listen, man, I wasn't Fucking robbing drug dealers. I ain't no fucking tough guy running around robbing drug dealers and kicking in fucking drug houses like fucking um, Omar from the wire. I was hitting <laughs> fucking gliders upside the head, taking it fucking <laughs> wild. What the fuck are you talking about, man? You, you learn that very early as a son, man, man. The future of the community. The idea is to have suit up become an annual event. Wow, that is so great. They look so terrific. And just the, the messages that they had were so inspiring. And they told me they feel really good and they feel confident. That is great. Thank you so much, Amber. Wonderful story.